welcome to my channel. This is the third video on this channel, I believe. Oh, made it to number three. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my current favourites, so my current makeup favourites, um, during this term of winter slash autumn, or autumn slash winter I should say. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about what my everyday uses are and all the products I use and how I use them. These products are like my favourite products, so I'm going to start from the beginning from primer to finishing powder or I don't really use finishing powder but I use a powder at the end so that's what we're going to be talking about today so yeah let's go so first of all everyone knows the base to your um, makeup is very important so obviously I like to do my skincare way before I do my makeup so it has time to sit in but then after that everything comes on top so the first product in my makeup ma regime sorry, um, would be my Collection Primed and Ready Primer. I've been using it for a while and it has come to be one of my favourite primers for the moment. Um, it's very subtle and it, it just covers its pore, like minimising. Sorry, had to get the word out. So it just manages to cover all the pores, any... I won't say cover blackheads because it's not really a coverage kind of thing, but it is a primer and I guess it just primer perfects your pores. Yeah. Guys, this is going to be another awkward video. I am sorry, but yeah, you've done this to yourself. So the next product I use in my makeup regime uh, would be my Isla Eyebrow Pomade. You can't really see it because... It's kind of marked off, yeah. but um, yeah, since I've been using that, I can't use anything else. I literally cannot use anything else. My eyebrows are the first thing I do, like when I start my makeup, because it's just the way I prefer it. Most people don't think it's doable. I've heard a lot of people who just say, oh, why would you do your eyebrows first? But it's what I prefer. And it means I'm not leaning on my face while I'm doing my eyebrows because my base is important as well. So um, knowing me, I'm going to ruin it. And um, I don't want to do that because I don't want to redo the whole thing again. But yeah, so I do my eyebrows first um, and the pomade and I used it in dark brown, I believe. Yeah. And again, it is my favorite eyebrow pomade. I don't think I can use anything else. So yeah. Now, staying on the eyebrow topic, in order to kind of neaten my eyebrows, I do use a foundation as a kind of way to neaten them. And the foundation I use is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polish in 360. If you could see it, I don't know. No? Is it just not okay? It's catching nothing. So, what I'm going to try and do, my camera is just being funny, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put a photo, just a up here yeah here uh of the products i'm gonna talk about uh yeah so that'll make it a lot easier because my camera seems to be um racist to products at the moment but anyways yeah but anyways i love to use a uh, foundation to neaten the eyebrow that way for me it looks a lot more natural than using a concealer that's a bit too bright and then you just end up with the halo eyebrow can we leave that this year by the way, can we leave that? Because it just looks ridiculous. Especially those people who have like the really dark eyebrows and, and then they have a halo. It, it's, is God calling you? Are you an angel? Now for the third product, now we're just gonna move away from the eyebrows now. We're going to the base. Um, and my favorite, 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 I don't think I can find anything as good as a coverage. I mean like you've got the top high-end products like Huda, the Fenty Beauty, that's more of like a natural, glowy kind of foundation. I've, I've never used it before, but I, I've watched reviews about them. Your girl isn't on that kind of budget. I'm sorry, you would not be seeing that in this video. Unless someone sponsors me and like buys it for me. I would appreciate you for it. Actually, I would love you. I'll cook for you. Uh, so my favourite foundation is the Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. My shade is in F16, 
I have been using this for the longest. I think this is my third or fourth bottle and it's pretty much nearly run out so super drug are doing a three for two. Yeah, so we know where I'm going tomorrow. I think I went there today, but, but you know what? It's a new day, we can get something else. But um, yeah, so that that is my favorite foundation of the moment. Absolutely love it. It's full coverage. F16, tad bit red, but I usually brighten it up with a concealer anyways, which is kind of a yellowy undertone. But I absolutely love that foundation. I don't think I'm finding anything as great as it at the moment. And plus I love Revolution, so it might just be me being biased, but we never know. So for my next product, that is my concealer. Uh, my current favourite concealer right now is the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer, the camo concealer. Um, I have the shade in Deep Chestnut. With this concealer, I think a little goes a long way. Sometimes you can get a bit too heavy handed with it and it just, it's just there. And Lord help me when you try to blend it out. It is the, it is struggle. That is my midlife crisis, not being able to blend out my concealer properly. And that, for me, is shocking. It's just, it's a tragedy. Shakespeare should write a book on it. Yeah, so the concealer is literally a go-to at the moment. Uh, I absolutely love it. It is very creamy. Uh, like I said, you can get a bit heavy-handed with it. But once you know how much like you yourself prefer, then it just becomes a lot easier. Now for my next product, it would be to kind of set the concealer underneath my eyes and the powder I love to use would be my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. It's catching nothing. Ugh. So I have the powder in 350. Um, haven't been using this for too long, I think I've been using it for just under a year now, but I really do love it because it's something it's something I just pick up and kind of dab on your face, set that um, concealer underneath your eyes and then the areas that you usually set concealer, which I can't really point out at the moment, I don't know what's wrong with So underneath your eyes, your forehead, your T-zone and your cheeks, that's why I put it anyways. Um, but yeah, I've just learned that this is just an easy pick-me-up so I don't have to deal with all like the powder brushing over me. Um, and once I just table them on, when I finally finish doing my makeup, I could just brush it off lightly and the, the powder's still there, but it doesn't give as much of a harsh line as just having a setting powder everywhere. <laughs> so my next product is my eyeliner. Now guys, it has taken me from the age of 16 to 23 to master my eyeliner. Like, I can say I can happily say now I'm at a point with my eyeliner where I'm happy, I'm satisfied. It's actually quite tearful to be fair. But um I absolutely love this. I don't know how I've got to like how I came about with this. I think one of my friends she used to use it and like one of our other friends we used to buy it quite regularly for her, so I thought, you know what, I'll try it. Um, and it's the Collection Waterproof Fast Stroke uh, Waterproof um, Mascara. So you can see it. No, you cannot. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, all right. I'll put it up there at some point. Um, yeah, that, this mascara, or this eyeliner, sorry. <laughs> I call it mascara. Guys, it is not a mascara, it's an eyeliner. So this eyeliner is literally taught me I have mastered my island like my flick with this and I always do a flick or maybe when I'm not, when I'm going to work and I'm not wearing any makeup or like I just decided I don't want to put my mis my eyeliner on um yeah I always wear a flick and it's, it's one of my signature looks for like an everyday or I'm going to town kind of thing or I'm going out or I'm just going to an event don't really go to much events because I'm antisocial let's just put that in um, but yeah, it is literally my favourite at the moment and it's waterproof. Guys, the good thing about my, this is why I love my everyday makeup, I'm just going to say it now, 
it can rain outside it can be spitting it can literally be pouring like raining cats and dogs and my makeup will stay in place you know when you pray to god for certain things and he answers your prayers that your prayers that my prayers have been answered when it comes to that thank god this is why i'm a christian Okay, so now we're down to the last couple of products. Uh, so my next product is the Studio Max Fix, and this is what I use to brush everything all together. Um, this kind of gets rid of the excess powder from the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Powder. It kind of just gets everything into place, sets everything up, and I'm good to go. That's after I put my lipstick on, of course. Uh, yeah, so that's my go-to powder. That is the um, Studio Fix Powder Plus yeah, foundation in um, NW55. Yeah, yeah, that is it. And then my um, current lipstick that I've got now and I pretty much wear every day. Believe it or not, this, this little buddy here that looks like a butt plug yeah sorry for my younger viewers if any yeah uh it's actually from primark yeah pretty deep color uh it's in the shade luster but i've been loving it ever since i started using it so good for me i think it was like 150 as well so i should do a little chant a little section of my channel called makeup on a budget help all of you guys out um and on top of that i put my revolution vintage on so this is part of the renaissance um collection so it looks like that it's like a pinky nudie color um and i just put that on top of the luster and it gives the lipstick a bit of a two-toned kind of effect going onto it so that is what I've got on now as well and I absolutely love it and it's just like an everyday thing I can pick it up and but it suits anything I go with as well so or anything I wear sorry um, yeah so yeah so yeah guys those are the products I use as an, my favorite everyday autumn slash winter kind of everyday makeup regime in my everyday <laughs> makeup regime um, yeah but the, my favourite products out of all of those right now are definitely the um, Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, uh, the Isla Eyebrow Pomade and the um, Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, not Mascara. I've never used a mascara before, I should try it actually. Hmm? Oh, it's always time for something new. Um, so yeah, that is my current favourites. Thank you for watching guys and welcome to my third video. Hopefully there will be more if I decide or when I decide to get my ass up and sit in front of the camera. So guys, this is the part of the video you've all been waiting for. I know it. I can feel it. And it's tea time. So today's tea has actually already been mentioned in the last video, but I didn't really get to talk about it much. So yeah, we're going to talk about green tea and manuka honey again today. Yeah. So I picked this because I wanted a cup of tea. Yeah. But I will tell you what it does and how I feel about it. So green tea. Um, it's, I'm just going to tell you about the properties, sorry. So, oof, I'm going to stretch for a sec. So just a few uh, green tea properties. Um, it helps with brain function. It helps improve brain function, apparently. Um, I have never thought I was Einstein on green tea. Like, and never have I walked into my lectures after drinking green tea and felt like I can focus more. If anything, I fell asleep. But, 
since I started working, it actually has helped. So for me right now, it's like a replacement for coffee in the morning. So instead of drinking coffee, I can replace it with green tea because it is a stim stimulant as well. So <laughs> that is another benefit of green tea. Um, another benefit, it aids in fat loss. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to lose weight. If anything, I'm trying to gain it. Um, but there are a lot of tablets like green tea and matcha that are like based and are made or tailored to losing weight or tailored to people who want to shed some fat. Guys, this is so long, like I can't get my words out. This is part of like, I need to start being more confident in camera. Yeah, so it's apparently tailored for weight loss. Um, another thing, that's additional to it being a stimulant and helping to kind of waken up the mind. It also helps to stabilize your energy. So it helps maintain and stabilize the energy throughout the day. Uh, yeah, that's what I've read upon it. Yeah. Uh, the next thing that it's tailored for, <laughs> green tea is tailored for, it's mainly about weight loss or fat burn because it's also th a thermogenic it has thermogenic properties as well um which also aids in fat loss and weight loss um yeah now of course the second product in the tea is manuka honey now it's expensive have you ever tried buying manuka honey that shit is expensive and I work in a store that sells it and like when it goes to half price people literally use they use the half price sales and the penny sales and I don't blame them I think it's like 50 something quid for like a 250 gram pot mm -mm. people have money people actually buy this stuff you know I think it's, it's anti-inflammatory and antibacterial um, it helps to soothe the digestive system and like if you've got a cold Again, it's used for the immune system. If you've got a cold, a flu, if you're dying, basically, Manuka honey is your savior. Don't bother going to the doctor. Just have a cup of Manuka honey tea and take some paracetamol because they'll probably prescribe you that anyways. Just don't, don't go on Google, please. Don't. So that is our first tea from Tea Time with Tea. Hopefully I get better at actually making Tea Time with Teas and I just want to be able to do it separately from the video, um, from my main video anyways, but say hi. You're the first one. Yeah, awkward. So thank you guys for watching um, and I hope to come back soon with another video. I don't know what the next video would be about, but I would somehow figure it out that's what you're supposed to do yeah I'll try and make more content again I am trying to be more confident in being more outspoken confident in my personality and lord help you all to how weird I am but you decided to follow me on this journey so we're gonna do it together and I have to we'll go through we'll get through it thank you guys bye